Kyle. Kyle. Mm. Time to get up, man. Going fishing. Let's go. Give me 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes? Yeah. Hey, don't make me come back in here. OK. That's the ones on one. There you go. Just gotta watch those hooks. Yeah, that's all that. Is that it? I think that's good, man. All right. You know, I did rig all these last night while you were out with your buddies. Oh. So you'd have fresh tackle to fish with today. Well, thank you. Yeah. I had a great night's sleep, too. Yeah, what'd you get in, an hour ago? Yeah, about that. I figured. Let's go fishing, buddy. Let's go, I'm down. Ever since Kyle was a little boy, uh, I've, I've spent time with him in the outdoors, him and my daughter both. Um, even even actually when he was in an infant carrier, we put a little life jacket on him and, and took him out in the boat, my wife and I, when we would, I would take her red fishing or, or something like that where we weren't too far offshore if something happened. We, we've spent a lifetime, or his lifetime, uh, spending time in the outdoors together. But as he's gotten older, um, you know, he wants to, to hang with his buddies and, and do do the cool stuff. And, you know, dads don't, aren't always the coolest guy to hang out with. So I haven't been able to spend as many days fishing in recent years as I'd like to. And whenever we get the opportunity, I, I kind of look forward to it. Air's got a little coolness to it. Yeah, I know. It's colder than I thought it was. You start running, it'll be colder than it feels yeah. right now. I know. That's why I'm putting this on. It's unusual that uh, that Kyle and I schedule. You know, I'll have a day off, and he has a day off at the same time, or he doesn't already have plans with his friends. And I had two days off in a row, and Kyle was on a little break from school. It was during the week, so we weren't going to be crowded by other boats. I thought it'd be a great opportunity to to spend a day with him, not not just offshore, but in the glades as well. In the Keys in South Florida, without the proper live bait or without good, lively live baits, you're pretty much wasting your time. You're not gonna go to the, the bait store and buy a frozen pack of ballyhoo and go trolling down the reef and expect to catch a sailfish. Our fish just don't feed that way. They're looking for live baits. There are so many act, you know, free swimming live baits on the edge of the reef that you're competing with, that if you don't have great lively bait, you're not you're not in the game. Oh, that's what we want right there. The small one, a little candy. Yeah. It's worth even spending half a day to catch the right bait if bait fishing is tough. If it takes that long to just go fish for two hours with great bait versus going out there with a couple of marginal baits and fishing all day. Here in South Florida in the Keys, in the wintertime, we have these fronts that come through. And usually the first day as the front is coming and blowing through, it's the harshest weather. You have these big gusty winds. The wind comes out of the northwest. It's swinging around to the north. And it's not the most pleasant time to be out there. Occasionally, the, the fish can go off on days like that. But generally, it's that next day when you get the bluebird sky, the, the weather is kind of stabilized, the, the cold air has hit you so that you get a lot of bait moving to the south, trying to escape the cold air, moving to warmer water. And the wind swings around where it's blowing just down the reef, but on it a little bit. So it, so it get, creates this, this turbulence where all the bait is trapped right on an edge. And that's the alley that the sailfish travel. And we happen to hit that. Now the current, the reason why it's moving north is what? The, the that's Gulf the Gulf Stream? Stream. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're, we're on the edge of the Gulf Stream. You know, most places in the country, you know, we're here off, off Key Largo, you can see land. Most yeah. places that the Gulf Stream travels, even even other parts, you have to parts of Florida, miles. you gotta be 50, 60, 80, 120 miles yeah. off the coast to be in the Gulf Stream, and we're you know eight miles off, off the, the island. A 
bait. It looks like he's getting a little nervous. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Sell, 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 sell. Real, 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 real. It's one of the most ancient forms of hide and seek known to man. And nobody knows how to play the fishing game better than the backcountry guides and offshore captains of the Florida Keys and Key West. Ready or not, here we come. The Sea Hunter is brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. Sea Hunter boats, indestructible, unsinkable. Yeti coolers, built for the wild. Yamaha outboards. Wet sounds, the ultimate sound machine for your boat. Quantum and Finor, inshore and offshore reels since 1933. The bay looks like he's getting a little nervous. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Sail, 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 sail. Real, 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 real. Got him on, bud? All we gotta do is stop paying attention. Just let him run. Just let him run. Good job, bro. Another one right behind my bait. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's wine, Kyle. See him on the, on the other bait? He's trying to eat it. Here, I got one on here. Here, take this one. Go to the front. Don't horse them, just, just play them nice and easy. Doing good, Kyle. Fish is, fish is putting on a show out there. Come, come under the kite line. Good job, bro. Excellent work. Way not to panic. Step back, Kyle. Hand me a rod tip. Hand me a rod tip. Keep winding when you can. I may let go here. There's a light, we got really a light leader. All right. <laughs> That's what we came out here to do, bro. Hell yeah. All we gotta do is stop paying attention, put up the kite. Definitely need to start going to the gym. <laughs> Are you a little tired? I'm tired, yeah. <laughs> you didn't do anything. You wouldn't know about any gyms, would you? Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, no. You don't look like the type of guy. No, Sorry, I'll go to the my gym. bad. Yeah. Uh, my name's Rob. Uh, go catch a fish. <laughs> I think it's tremendously important as a parent. You introduce kids to the outdoors. And me being an outdoorsman, I hunt and fish, and I make my living fishing. My kids kind of had no choice. They were, they were kind of forced into at least being introduced to it. And they, fortunately for me, they both seem to like it. You know, it's, it's so bothersome to me to watch the modern day youth spend 80% of their, their spare time indoors on games and playing on the computer because I think they're missing, missing out on something. Even if their parents are an outdoorsman, I think the parents owe it to at least give the kid the opportunity to, to experience the outdoors. Real, real. Just, just wine, don't worry about jerking it out of there. Come on, jump, baby. Come on, come out with your hands up. That's him, he just jumped. Here, snap that. Make sure it's on me. Well, you want me to chase your fish, or you want me to do this crap? Take a damn Snapchat. <laughs> Keep up with The Sea Hunter on social media. Follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. You can also visit us at theseahuntertv.com.
you down deep. Uh, not that deep. Wine, 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 wine. You know, one of the, the neatest things about that second fish that, that Kyle had was this was a tough fish. And the longer he fought it, the more enthusiastic he remained. And he was diligent. He was on the bow. He was paying attention to what I was telling him. He was putting pressure on the fish the whole time. He never got discouraged. And his head was in the game. And it was, I was really proud that, that he was that into it. I think he's down deep. OK. I'm going to let him get away from the bow a little bit. He should come up to the top. Keep a good bend in the rod. Keep whining while he's on top. Had a double on, bud. Did Mine we? Mine got off. Dang. That's a nice sail there, buddy. A lot bigger than that first one. Is he? Yeah. <clears throat> hey, you got the best part out of him. You got all the jumps. Hey, you did good. Way to go. Where's the video? What video? The video I told you to take of me fighting. You just handed me the phone and said, I said, I thought you were supposed to push the button. Think I'm some kind of Snapchat genius? You have Snapchat on your phone. You can and control, I've never, and you I've can never control used Instagram. It. I mean, how I've, do you figure that out? I've never used it. You, so took what a, it. you took a selfie. Well, is it a good one? Let me see. No, I saved it. I'm going to put you on blast on Instagram later. <laughs> good. Here, we got nice. a selfish one. Or let's get on Snapchat instead of chasing the fish. <laughs> oh. It's been an awesome day with you, bro. It has. Thanks. Way to go. Appreciate it. Good job on those sailfish. What are we doing for dinner? <laughs> you know, we, we kind of have a joke around around my household, you know, whether my wife has, has cooked anything or not. What's going on for dinner? Oh, I um, baked you a pizza. Really? All the way from Jersey. Thanks. You're welcome. Told you. Told you what? Nothing. What did he tell you, Kyle? That you weren't going to make anything for dinner? I did make something. <laughs> I made a pizza. I mean, it's all good. Thank you. That's a piece I already ate, though. <laughs> Kyle, how about a plate? I'm OK. Yeah, I know. Are you going <laughs> to clean my floors? No. OK. No, he's going to help me clean the boat, though. Are we going snook fishing tomorrow still? You want to go? Yeah, it's my favorite thing to do. You know what, man? We don't get to go that much. We got to sail fish today. We'll go snook fishing tomorrow. Cool. Best All of both right. worlds. Okay. The second day, uh, we decided to go go into the Everglades and, and hopefully snook fish. We're, we're going to fish for everything, but but hopefully find some big snook. And, and this is a place that, that Kyle loves to go. You know, I think he likes the solitude of the Everglades. He does go to the Everglades with his friends, whether it be on foot or on four-wheeler. His buddies have some John boats, so he spends some time out there on his own. My favorite part about the Everglades has to be that you can go anywhere in the Everglades, anywhere you want to, and not one place will look the same. You will never have a day in the Everglades that is the same exact day as any other day. Something is always changing. Something is always different. And it's quite an experience. There's something. Like it's a little redfish, Kyle. Coming at me. Yeah. It is a little red. Nice. Can we get him? You're welcome. Good catch. Nice That'll work. Got him? My whole life, I've basically spent in the Everglades with my dad fishing. It's kind of like growing up in, in a classroom, and he's the teacher. And um, it wasn't until up about maybe I was 10 or 12 where I was going out there with friends, finding myself using the knowledge that I learned from my dad to catch fish by myself with me and my friends. 
So when you go back, if you pull through with that bottom hand right here, I mean, it gives you a good, yeah. It gives you a good thing to where you just break it off, right? Right. Oh, awesome. Thanks for the tip, Dad. <laughs> This is one of the first areas that I actually ever spent much time fishing with Kyle. And, and myself, what hooked me on fishing was going with my uncle and grandfather in the Everglades. And we were um, in the back country casting almost everything, we were using a trolling motor going up the coast and um, found a nice uh, flat with a lot of trout on it. That's when things started to get really heated and the competition was on from there. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. You crossed me. My bad. You're trying to poach my spot, man? Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to reel. <laughs> <laughs> I have this trait and I think, I don't know if it comes from a sports background or what it is or if I was just born with it, but I'm very competitive. And it's not always a competition, but it is always a competition. And I think, fortunately and unfortunately, Kyle inherited the same trait. So it didn't take long when we started catching these trout for it to become a competition between the two of us. I hope you know I'm just letting you win. You're letting me win? I'm letting you win. You couldn't beat me if I laid down to take a nap. Well, why don't you say that another time when I'm not fighting a fish? I can't hear you. Mine's bigger than yours. Oh, OK. There's no espresso machine. No smiling barista. Just you and an ax. You're welcome to a hot cup of comfort. But you gotta serve yourself. The Sea Hunters brought to you by Ray Marine, Simply Superior. Mojo Sportswear, get your mojo on. Garmin Verbs, the official action camera of the Sea Hunter. Alvarez General Boats. Sea Star Solutions. Best Fab. One of the things I, I did when both my kids were, were young, every night I'd tuck them in bed, and instead of reading a book to them, they wanted to hear a fish story. And I didn't make these fish stories up. I would tell them actual events that, that either happened that day or the week before or maybe years before. But they actually got really excited every night to, to hear the fish stories. Here we go. The big fish, bro. Hell yeah. Not giant, but a nice one. Looking like a bass. Bring him up. Good job, dog. <laughs> nice fish. Huh? For what we've been doing, man, we've yeah. been. <laughs> Freaking wailing, 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 yeah. wailing, trying to get a decent, decent snook and finally got one. Let's go get you one now. I'm down. Let's go. There you go, Kyle. Just stay good and tight to him. That's a redfish, buddy. Yeah. Pull left. Pull left. Go around the trolling motor. Good job. Some help? What have you got? There you go. Cool. It was just getting towards the end of the day. We were actually getting ready to leave and standing on the bow and I go to make a cast and on my back cast I go to pull forward and I feel something tug on the line and I hear my dad say stop. I instantly knew what that meant. I just didn't know where he was hooked. You are right there? No, I'm great. I got a bait hanging out of my face. I'm, I'm excellent. Well, you're not crying. Have you ever seen me cry? No. Okay. He has this mono trick that he uses mono to, to yank a hook out, no matter how deep it is. You're gonna pull the loop along my face. 
that way. I'm snatching? Yeah, you're snatching. I can't see what the hell I'm doing. The reason why I was so scared is if, if I were to do this the wrong way, it's not coming out. The barb's gonna engage more in, into his lip and probably rip it off or something, I don't know. But I didn't wanna do that. I didn't wanna live with that for the rest of my life, so. No, do it, give it slack and snatch as fast as hard as you can. I really don't wanna do this. Do it right, I just couldn't see what I was doing. Yeah, I know. I just, I was, but I thank was, you for, for telling me how it was yeah. because if I pulled it wrong, we'd be doing it again. Yeah. You got a little something on your shirt right there. You need a tissue? I'm good. Okay. All right, I'll live. <laughs> you know, we had caught a number of snook on, on, on this particular day, and I was really hoping that Kyle would, would land a good one. Because there's a difference in those little two, three, four pounders in a solid snook, especially in, in tight quarters. There's something about the snook in the back country that when you get a bite, it's a bite. You know you, you have a snook on. Okay. That's not a, that's not a very little fish. That's not what was biting us mm -hmm. a minute ago. Nice fish, Kyle. Yeah. Pull, try to pull him around this. Good job, bud. I'll get him for you. Get him over here. As you grow as a sportsman, initially, if you hunt or fish, it's about catching or, or, or finding a lot of game. And as that grows, then it's about catching bigger fish or, or, or killing something that's bigger, a bigger deer or what, whatever it be. But as you have kids, I think it's so important to, to put your own satisfaction aside and, and instill these things in, in your kids and, and introduce them to it. And you're gonna find that that becomes even more satisfying for you as a parent, to watch your kids do it and enjoy it, than as if you were doing it yourself. Good job, buddy. Hey, I don't know how many fish we caught today, but I lost count after five. I did. We lost some. We lost some bigger ones. But I've had a great day. It's been fun with you, man. It's been too long since we did this. It really has. I'm actually glad I got to spend this day with you doing this. Me too. How about dinner? Huh? about dinner. <laughs> I knew she wouldn't cook anything. I told you. <laughs>